had one guy in the middle for both benches. They had one guy on each corner flag. They had two up in the pavilion. So when the game was over, they sh shook hands. They all came.
over on the far touchline for St. Benedict's here. Early minutes of this New Jersey Prep A state championship game. Rematch of the 2016 game between St. Benedict's and the Pennington School that was won by Pennington. St. Benedict's looking to get a little bit of revenge after they won this game. And what was a heated contest last year against Blair Academy. St. Benedict's Gravies. Number one team in the country. Whether you look at top drawers soccer, USA Today. Consensus number one team in the nation. Gonna keep what is an undefeated season still going. 17-0 entering play today. So on the near side, Caleb Braga drops it for Cal Chavez, who is preseason All-American watch list for top drawer soccer, one of seven players on St. Benedict's who made that preseason watch list as All-American candidates. Cleared out nicely on the back line by Paulo Chade for the Pennington School. And St. Benedict's though will hang on to possession. That's nothing new for them. The Gravies this year used to holding on to the ball and scoring just bunches of goals more than their opponents. It's Julian Gomez has it by the edge of the box. Taken away, away from him by Nicholas Herrerius for Pennington and eventually played out of bounds off of St. Benedict's. Ray B's trying to hang on to the ball and they're attacking third of the field. Foul whistled against the Pennington School. It'll be free kick coming for St. Benedict's. Celio Pompeo will take it. Joe Vasil with you here on Play-by-Play -play Sports Network today. We thank you for joining us, whether you're watching us live or uh, watching us on the archive here on YouTube. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch New Jersey Prep A championship game between St. Benedict's and the Pennington School. Pompeo spins it to the near side, rings the post, ball loose in front, and Pennington plays it out. My goodness, Pompeo nearly had that one he had Ponce de Leon beat, but he hit it off the near post. Back to the middle for the Gray Bees, trying to keep the pressure on. They hang on a possession, work with it inside the box is Rodriguez. Play to the outside, shot for the far post, goes wide off the foot of Cal Chavez. And it'll be a goal kick coming up for Rafael Ponce de Leon. Before that, they called an offside against St. Benedict, so. Not a six, but rather just a regular kick taken by Mansour Dia. There's number 10 in white for the Pennington School. They're again in the white kits. And the red shorts, all maroon for the St. Benedict's Gray Bees. They're in their home turf, Essex County Riverfront Park. Pretty good crowd on hand, as you can see over on the far side as St. Benedict's again trying to control possession, something they've done well through the first several minutes of this contest. Diop sweeps it aside with a long ball up ahead for Osmoin Gaye. Gaye plays it back to the near side, Luis Paul. Paul will drop it back for Ian Albuquerque. Pennington School trying to Hang on to possession and give themselves a chance to find some holes in this St. Benedict's defense, but boy, there just are none of those. This is a team working on a nine game shutout streak. It's on the far side of Ronald Moffinsweeney. Number 70 for St. Benedict's. Was able to win possession and they flip the field for Cal Chavez. Middle, Caleb Braga long range shot that goes high and wide. That'll be a goal kick for Rafael Ponce de Leon. There's no scoreboard that is working here today. It's Essex County Riverfront Park. And reminder that the time that you see up at the top of your screen is unofficial time. 
Official time being kept down on the field. St. Benedict's charging forward again. Left footed shot goes wide as Henrique Cruz was trying for the near side post. Is already a flurry of activity across the goal mouth of the Pennington School in the early going, but St. Benedict's not able to capitalize by putting one in the back of the net quite yet. I'll try to outlet with Diop up the sideline. Head to Gaye. Turns it up the field. Good tackle, but couldn't keep it in bounds. Uh, Zemi Rodriguez was right there, but wasn't able to keep it in. It was a good, hard, clean tackle. We have a foul against the Pennington School. There's a little bit of a double team, and Caleb Braga was pinched off. A little bit too rough drawing the whistle. A couple of fouls against Pennington so far here today, but nothing warranting a card just yet. But good to see the officials wanting to not only let the players play a little bit, but make sure that things are established to a point where they don't get out of hand eventually. All chipped ahead by Pompeo, but eventually it finds its way in. It's Rafael uh, Ponce de Leon who came off his line some to come play it out by the edge of the 18. Diop drops it out of bounds for Pennington and St. Benedict's keeping that pressure on and, and you just see what's made them so deadly this year. Just relentless on the four check and really forcing their opponents to make errors. Another long range shot just goes high the crossbar. Again it was Henrique Cruz. I went right over the top of the goal. Once again, it'll be Diop. We'll take this six for Pennington. Cut off from the ball on the far side and take it back by St. Benedict's. Chipped ahead by Julian Gomez, but a little bit too long. And again, Ponce de Leon, first year, goes back to make the play. Pennington had possession for a moment, but one off the foot of Jack Borden. Picked up by the captain, A.J. Johnson. He's fighting hard for it, and still against Babakar Niang. He's able to draw it. A chance for Pennington here, kind of in the middle of the field to have, it's, it's a little far out. But if you can get a good service into the box, from Lucas Gessner. Give yourself a chance. So he does serve it, but it goes over the top of everyone out on the end line. That'll be a goal kick for St. Benedict's as he was looking to find Jack Borden, a junior from Stockton, New Jersey. Or rather, a sophomore from Stockton, New Jersey to make the play. Instead, it ended up going out as Ori Briscoe, junior goalkeeper, kick things away for St. Benedict's. For Briscoe, it's a nine game shutout streak on the line. Here today, the last team to score against St. Benedict's was St. Ignatius from Ohio. Currently the team ranked by Top Drawer Soccer as the number seven team in the country. That was a game played at Montclair State. Officially a home game for St. Benedict's. He's trying to grab it. It ends up getting knocked out of bounds by Pennington on the far touch line. Told you about St. Benedict's got here with a 7-0 win against Lawrenceville two days ago in the Prep A semifinals. Pennington got here with a 6-0 win over the Hun School in the Prep A semis. So both of these teams coming off of some uh, some rather decisive victories in the semifinals. And at least for Pennington's side, hoping to keep this one a close contest and give yourself a chance late as that ball is cleared. Out ahead is Diop, kind of mishandled for Pennington. St. Benedict's trying to take advantage. Niang trying to reverse course at midfield, but he's swallowed up by a double team. Able to pass through it to Luis Paul. Here's Paul, stutter stepping in the slot. 
He's got some help, looking for some more. Awaits reinforcements as he drops it back to Jack Borden. Now Ian Albuquerque. Played up ahead. Tripping over the top of the ball was Niang. He goes down the whistle against St. Benedict's. And another chance for a set piece for Pennington is all of a sudden, after it was St. Benedict's that had all the opportunities in the early going, now Pennington's had a couple of chances here over these last few minutes. Trying to be the team that strikes first here today. Attack it! Gessner has the service into the box and it's played out by St. Benedict's, but they called for offsides it was Pennington, so wouldn't have mattered anyway. Even if the Grey Bees weren't the team that got there. This is Asriel Johnson. Back near his side for Chavez. Throws it in. It's back for Pompeo. Good move. Tried to feed it ahead to Semi Rodriguez. One away from him. The fight for it. Pompeo kept it cleanly. And he draws the foul. Quick start. This goes off off the shin pads of Pennington player. That was Nicholas Herrerius. Throwing for St. Benedict's. Chavez ahead for Rodriguez. Sends it along for Caleb Braga. Pass back for Hyunjun's son. Eventually played out of bounds. Good job defensively by Lucas Gessner. So it goes out off of St. Benedict's and now Pennington with a chance to try and again get it out of their defensive third and kind of get back on the attack. They were looking pretty good there for uh, couple of minutes buzzing if you will against the bees I'm trying to find their way back into the attacking half of the field but it's just so hard to do that against St. Benedict's it's tenacious defense being played by the Grey Bees here today and throughout the entire season St. Benedict's was not scored upon in the month of October September 28th, the last time they gave up a goal. Actually played out on the near touchline right in front of the St. Benedict's bench by Pennington was the last one who touched it. Long outlet up ahead, they're trying to hit the home run. This is Julian Gomez trying to flag it down, but he's ridden away from the ball by Tommy Coe. And it's cleared out towards center, but a foul whistled against Pennington. It's Abakar Niang, the guilty party, and Good sportsmanship as he helps Enrique Cruz back up to his feet after the two collided. And repositioned by our head referee today. Is Benedict tries to get it to the near side, but not able to connect on a short pass. And Pennington has the near touch throw in. Unofficially, over 15 minutes elapsed here in half number one. Still no score. Between two high-powered offensive teams locked in a defensive battle. I mean, there's a reason why they're playing here at the Prep A State Championship on the line is whistle at another foul against St. Benedict's. Losing his show on the shoe on the far side was Ian Albuquerque. Is St. Benedict's head coach Jim Wanling and hear him telling his team, hey, too many fouls here, guys. Got to tighten down and play strong defense without fouling. Gessner has this service toward the top of the 18. He gets headed along. Jack Borden trying to chase it down in the corner for Pennington. And it's eventually ridden away out of bounds. But it was last off of St. Benedict's. And Pennington makes the mistake. It goes out on the end line. It'll be a goal kick coming up for the Grey Bees. So strong defense being played by both teams. St. Benedict's has had a couple of opportunities. Uh, 
One shot that hit off the near post, a couple that have just cleared the crossbar. Headed to the near side as uh, well, the ball nearly comes and takes out the trophies and the streaming equipment off the deflection from Pompeo. Let's take it by Pennington. But one quickly back by St. Benedict's. Chavez got a little shoved down to the ground. And late after the whistle, we play on is A.J. Johnson. One of the two captains out there for St. Benedict's today. You've got Johnson and you've got Celio Pompeo. Short passing as Pompeo grabs it to the far side. Find Moffin Zwaney. Here's his shot. They rip it and score. Zemi Rodriguez. And it's 1 0 St. Benedict's. And the Gray Bees strike first. Zemi Rodriguez. Unofficially give it an assist to Moffin Zwaney. Setting that goal up is there been a couple of opportunities just like that for St. Benedict's. They come back the other way. Moffin Zwaney with the shot. He hits the crossbar. Reef bound in front and a whistle and a foul called in the box against St. Benedict's. Oh, nearly a lightning strike for the second goal within a minute. As in the 19th minute, Zemi Rodriguez from Ronald Muffin Sweeney. It's St. Benedict's up one to nothing. Go to work, go to work. It's that high octane offense of St. Benedict's. I mean, they've won games 10 to nothing, eight nothing. 13 to 1. Shot goes wide from St. Benedict's. Substitution for the Pennington School. It's 1 0 St. Benedict's here. 20 minutes in, halfway into half number one. As the Bees finally able to get one in past Rafael Ponce de Leon. Tiop gets it away for Pennington. St. Benedict's trying to hang on. Pennington plays it ahead into the corner. Near the edge of the 18, but it's headed away out of bounds by Cal Chavez. That'll slow things down for Pennington and allow St. Benedict's to set up a little better on defense. Forcing a deep throw in here for the Pennington school. So Pennington opts to play this. You can kind of throw it long into the box. You can play it short. They'll try to go long as it to flex high, last touch by St. Benedict's, comes out. Oh man, nifty play made by Zemi Rodriguez to send it out of bounds again near touchline. Another chance for throwing though for Pennington. Gonna keep the pressure on, they throw it in deep, coming out off the net, wide open shot for Pennington, but they're not able to get a clean look at the net and it's cleared out towards center. And St. Benedict's able to hang on as Pennington looking to answer and get this thing all back to even. They play a long ball ahead. Herreras tried to flag it down but wasn't able to get there. Benedict clears up the pitch. Dead of bounds by Pennington. And so the Gravies can continue to weave their way back in toward the goal line that's guarded by Rafael Ponce de Leon. Rodriguez gets that second touch. Head for Moffin Sweeney. Edge of the box. Centering try that gets in past everyone, past the goal mouth, and eventually knocked out in the corner on the touchline by Pennington. They quickly play it ahead as St. Benedict's trying to keep things going. Ball down the 
Now Chavez ahead and this one's cleared over into the Passaic River almost, into the trees that kind of protect the back of the field from the river and throw it in quickly as someone has to go retrieve that ball. Pennington plays it ahead. It's down though by A.J. Johnson. Gray Bees with a 1-0 lead more than halfway through half number one. Of course, the time that's up on the top of your screen is the unofficial time, the official time being kept by the referees down on the field. There's no scoreboard that's operational. Play it ahead. Inside was Gomez who had to take it off his foot and played back out towards center by Pennington. Zwaney gets it back he shoots hits the post they blow the play dead as there's a foul in the box against Bennington a yellow card is coming out against Mansour Dia Dia so 24th minute grabs the yellow card Penalty oh, kick move. for St. Benedict's. Let go. Let go. Be It'll be Pompeo who takes it to commit to UCLA as soon as we get substitution all finalized. Pompeo. He goes left and scores. Off the penalty kick in the 24th minute. Celio Papayo with his first of the day. Apologize for any technical difficulties having with the stream here today. We'll be back. It's three to nothing. St. Benedict's on top. They just scored. Celio Pompeo, a feed to Ronald Boffin-Sweeney. Pompeo's got it here in the corner. He goes head over heels as the ball is slid out of bounds by Pennington. Celio, get out! Reese, get out! Just walk away. Hey, you don't need to get involved in any of that. Modling telling his players just to avoid the conflict and and you've got a 3 nothing lead, no need to start anything that might give any spark for this Pennington School team. It's a 3 nothing lead for St. Benedict's. Again, the time on your screen is the unofficial time. It's Ronald Goff and Zwaney. Cruz tried to get it ahead, it deflects out of bounds off of Pennington. Red Raiders just looking for an answer. Trying to gain some kind of momentum. But this one a little bit closer before the end of the first half, which is coming up somewhat soon. Well, deflects out of bounds. Moffin Sweeney has the quick throw in his. St. Benedict's continues to play fast-paced soccer. Just apply the pressure. It's Bennington and showing off their great conditioning. Great coaching as the ball hits the flag over in the corner, stays in bounds. We'll have a corner kick for St. Benedict's. It'll be the Gray Bees' second corner kick of the day. They'll play it short. Papayo. Back to the middle where it's taken down by Reese Armstrong. He's got some family here today in Newark. Flew in last night, his dad did, from Scotland to watch this match here today. Didn't tell Reese that he was going to be coming. And he's here today just kind of as a surprise. And it was a nice one before the game. Guy ahead for the Red Raiders. Taken away from him in a double team. Played back O.T. Ebenezer. Commit to Manhattan College. 
We could program out of the Metro Atlantic Conference. Ed Zemi Rodriguez already with one goal today. As it knocked off his self and out of bounds. It's touched by Pennington. Off and Zwaney for Rodriguez who drops it back to Enrique Cruz. Johnson for Cal Chavez. Pennington ball. Talked about Jim Wandling a couple times for St. Benedict's. Head coach for Pennington is Chad Bridges. Assisted by Billy Hockey. Quick shot in and Ponce de Leon makes the save, knocking it down because he dropped to his knees. Cyril Neto had the shot from right around the 18 for St. Benedict's. On ball played ahead, but it's gotten to by Ebenezer. Sends it over to the near side where Cal Chavez controls. Good short passing for the Grey Bees as Armstrong tried to play it to the far side, but it was picked off by Lucas Gessner. Whistle blows against St. Benedict's. You know, that's something that's kind of eaten at their side a little bit today is they've been a little bit careless with the fouls in the early going. They've given Pennington some opportunities. Obviously, Red Raiders haven't been able to capitalize just yet. This is too good of a team to keep off the scoreboard for too long. But then again, St. Benedict's has kept a lot of good teams off the scoreboard this year. Muffin Sweeney gets it back. St. Benedict's has to play it for the defensive mid, Henrique Cruz. Meto near side has it taken away as he was trying to get it back over here. Cruz, a good takeaway. And advancing the ball is H.J. Johnson. Cross into the box, headed down by Pennington, but it comes loose in front to Neto. Neto trying to hang on, instead gets played back for Armstrong and Chavez. Drop to Cruz. Slow things down, OT Ebenezer. Jay Johnson, back for Cruz. St. Benedict's being patient here and waiting for the opportunity late. Here in half number one. They lead it three to nothing. Goals from Rodriguez, Pompeo, and Moffin Zwaney. Armstrong. Challenged hard, we play on is Pennington takes it back. Pompeo. Left footed shot from outside the box in a diving play made by Ponce de Leon. He punches it out toward the corner where Zemi Rodriguez collects. Armstrong trying to get inside, gets around one defender, tries to chip it around another. Rodriguez back to the middle, a shot from Nieto. Goes wide right. Israel Neto had a good look in front, but with that ball coming down with a little funky spin on it, wasn't quite able to get a clean piece of the ball and sweep through it. And it just had a, a lot of side spin that took it wide right, and it'll stay 3 0 St. Benedict's for the time being. Again, that time you see up on the top of your screen not the official time it's being kept uh, by the officials down on the field Pompeo tried to get it back to the middle Diop was sliding down and Pompeo goes down hard and wow a red card has come out 
Hey, Sal, straight up, Sal. Against Mansoor Diop. He already had one yellow card, came out and got his second yellow. And that means that's a red card ejection. Let's go, Sal. Wow. Hey. Keep going, Adam. Keep going. Diop is gone for the rest of the game. A key piece of the back line for Pennington. Picking up his second yellow card. And we'll have another yellow card coming out here against Pennington. This will be Nicholas Herrerius picking up the yellow. So 3-0 St. Benedict's. Pennington for the time being missing two players off their back line after two yellow cards come out against the Red Raiders. Rodriguez plays it slow. Neto, edge of the box. Crosses into the middle and it's taken away by Pennington. They clear it out on the near touch line. It'll be a throw in from in deep. Pompeo. Take around of those highlighter green cleats. Played back out towards center. Caleb Braga flips the field. Sent ahead by his son toward the net and in! Oh my goodness! A long range shot from the far sideline. Sneaks its way in the near post and it's 4-0 St. Benedict's. Hyun Jun Soon. A sophomore defender. And everything's coming up Gray Bees here in half number one. Again, that clock that you see up on the top of your scoreboard is the unofficial time, so as it continues to tick up. Let's not take into account some of the times that we've stopped after St. Benedict's goals today and when we've seen three cards come out against Pennington. Three yellows, including two of them against one player, equaling a red. Pennington playing a man down here for the remainder of this contest after the red card against Dia. 4 nothing St. Benedict's, four different goal scorers, Semi Rodriguez, Celio Pompeo, Arnold Moffin Sweeney. And then from about 40 yards out, from a sharp angle, Hyun Jun Soon makes it 4 nothing. Foul against St. Benedict's. Quick reset for the Pennington Red Raiders at the end of the first half. Here by Cal Chavez. Possession taken by Alex Oliveira. Chavez has been out there the whole first half. It slid ahead and a foul against Pennington as Chavez went down after the slide from Ian Albuquerque. Back for A.J. Johnson. Cleared out of bounds by Pennington. Is they're hoping to just kind of run out the clock here on half number one. Maybe, maybe luck into something here on a lightning intercept of a pass and a shot. But four goal first half. For St. Benedict's, they've now outscored their opponents since the beginning of October, 60 to nothing. Nearly 61 as a shot came across the goal mouth and it went wide of Ponce de Leon. 
Peter Yarrow who had the shot. Alex Oliveira was cutting across on the other side but couldn't quite get there to deflect that one in toward the nets. Goal kick for Pennington. They had been taken by Mansoor Diop. He's been red carded, not eligible to return. So now Jack Borden taking the kicks from the six. So blows and a foul against Pennington. Slow to get up is Zemi Rodriguez. First goal scorer of the day. And that'll do it. Half number one is over. And the score, St. Benedict's four, Pennington School nothing. 40 more minutes of soccer to go to decide the New Jersey Prep A state champion in 2018. And the Pennington School pull off a stunning turnaround or will St. Benedict's cruise to a second straight title after they won last year. We'll see after this, we'll take a step aside here on the play-by-play -play sports network. We'll come back and get you all set up for half number two from Essex County Riverfront Park here in Newark, New Jersey.
Welcome you back here to Essex County Riverfront Park. Joe Vasil here with you. Play by play sports network is you see there on your screen at halftime the score four to nothing in favor of the St. Benedict's Grey Bees. It was a uh, half where they scored again four goals, but they all came basically in the second half of the half. It was nearly 19 minutes until we got our first goal scored by Zemi Rodriguez, then Celio Pompayo. Arubafin Sweeney and Hinjun Soon scoring the four goals for St. Benedict's in the first half. So with half number two underway, the teams have switched sides and the Grey Bees trying to hang on and win back-to-back -back Prep A State Championships. And not only would it be back-to-back, -back, but it would be, I believe, 28 out of the last 29 in favor of the St. Benedict's Grey Bees. Just a, a run of dominance over the last three decades in New Jersey Prep A soccer. And while the Pennington Red Raiders playing a man down, they lost Ansar Diop to a red card in the 37th minute here in half number one. So they're trying to just kind of do everything that they can. Try and keep things going and slowly but surely try to work themselves back into this game. And get it to a point where they could be comfortable. Here's a long range shot and a diving save made by Rafael Ponce de Leon in nets for the Pennington School. And so when you look at Pennington and again, they're, they're trying to weave their way slowly back into this contest and you just kind of think, okay, when, when you look at it, look for milestones in this second half if you can get it down to a three goal game within the first 10 minutes and maybe you get it back to within two about halfway through you've got a chance but again it's it's going to be a very upwards hill to climb only one team this whole year has scored two goals in a game against St. Benedict's and it was this Pennington school team the first time that they met, it was a 5-2 win for the St. Benedict's Grey Bees back on September 25th on the road in Pennington. And outside of that, in the other 16 contests, today makes 17 other contests for St. Benedict's this season. They haven't allowed more than one goal. In fact, they've allowed just five all season two of them were to this Bennington team and it did try to get it out of their own end with Gaye Niang tripped up he goes down All sent out of bounds after the foul was whistled against St. Benedict's Bennington will drop it as Albuquerque picks it up Jimmy Coe Sticking with it, Gastner, Niang, spins around his defender, tries to make a little foot fake and go to the outside, but he was tackled off the ball, and it's taken back by the Grey Bees. Long ball played ahead by A.J. Johnson. It's Maffenzweni to the edge of the 18. Ronald Maffenzweni with the right foot, he's shot, and it just goes wide right. So another early shot year for St. Benedict's. Remember back in the first half, they had a couple of shots. One hit the post, one just cleared the crossbar in the first couple of minutes. They had a lot of opportunities early, weren't able to put one home until the 19th minute. It's kind of a similar start here in half number two with the Grey Bees, a couple of shots early on in the first handful of minutes that they have been able to. Yeah, to apologize for some of the technical difficulties having here today. Help. 
Corner kick coming up for Pennington. First Pennington corner kick of the game. Right to the middle, knocked out toward the top of the 18, set ahead by the Red Raiders, and it goes out of bounds, last touched by Pennington. How are we not ready for those in there? Goal kick going from Rafael Ponce de Leon as airplanes flying overhead. Thank you for joining us here today and sticking with us through some technical difficulties as Pennington is looking for a handball to be called against St. Benedict's. Might have had, might have had a point. Here's Muffin Zwaney. Left footed shot goes high and hits the protective screen behind the nets. Five to nothing lead. For the St. Benedict's Grabies, Julian Gomez, the goal here in the second half after Ronald Muffin Sweeney scored one in the first. So did Celio Pompeo, Yunjun Soon, and Zemi Rodriguez. Rabies trying to net one more. At least hold on and waste some time as we're not quite halfway through the second half. It was nearly halfway through the first half before we got our first goal of the game. Ebenezer. Good pass, far side. Shot and a save made by Ponce de Leon. Zemi Rodriguez put one on net. Off a pretty feed by Tiago Quintanilla. On ball from Pompeo is played aside by Pennington. Red Raiders trying to settle down into possession, not able to. Rodriguez, another ground ball is shot. Goes off the chest of Ponce de Leon, then he's able to scamper and pick up the rebound from in front. And roll it off to the side to try and start Pennington up the field. Albuquerque loses it. Pompeo into the box. The shot and a score. Second of the day for Celio Pompeo, and it's six to nothing, St. Benedict's. Two goals, two assists unofficially for Celio Pompeo. And a monster day for this Scrabies team. They've been doing this all year long. I told you earlier they've won a couple of 10 nothing decisions 13 to 1, 7 nothing, 6 nothing, 8 nothing. Regular scores for this St. Benedict's team that scored 102 goals in 17 games entering play today. Including today, you make it 108 in 18. And they've given up only five. Goal coming in the 55th minute. Marcelio Pompeo. So again, that time up at the top of your screen is the unofficial time, the official time being kept our head referee down in the fields. Pennington, just trying to get one in here. For Kessner. Good ahead by Niang. Albuquerque. Gordon played out. 
pinched back in quickly by the Red Raiders. This one will roll oh. out of bounds down on the end line as it's just kind of a, a desperation kick down the pitch. Six coming up for Yori Briscoe. Soon. Picked up by Pompeo. Plays it right back in his direction through an aggressive four check from the Red Raiders. It's Niang. Number 12, who is doing a lot of that work. Pass it back to the far side. Chavez. Back for A.J. Johnson, and St. Benedict's will flip the field. And no hurry, nor should they be at this point. Long ball played up ahead. Rodriguez off the header to Neto. Israel Neto inside the six. Knocked off his feet, rolls out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for St. Benedict's. It'll be their third of the match, first here in the second half. Substitution here for St. Benedict's ahead of the corner kick. Reese Armstrong comes in. Caleb Braga heads to the bench. Armstrong will get all set up outside the semicircle. All swung into the box. Played out by Pennington, but controlled after George Burdett's initial touch by St. Benedict's. Now Armstrong, ground ball cross. Played out of bounds. So St. Benedict's will hang on to it. Kicked out. Soon will throw it in. Gets it back to Reese Armstrong. Rabies strung a few passes together, then had one picked off by Red Raiders. Then a longer pass. Pompeo able to get there. Celio Pompeo. Just in by Son. Pompeo waits a long time and got up there, made the play. And Ended up drawing a foul from Babakar Niang, so free kick by Hinjun Soon. AJ Johnson chips from off and Zwaini, who chests it back for Cruz. Enrique Cruz tried to give it back to him on a give and go, but couldn't get through to Moff and Zwaini. Still controlled, though, by St. Benedict's back around midfield. It's the Rabies six, the Red Raiders nothing. Halfway through the second half. Jersey Prep A Championship game in 2018. And officials time out is Reese Armstrong and Avakar Yang are both getting a, a talking to. Saw the yellow card warnings come out. Pennington already. Right. Playing right. down. And so we're D up. Grabbed a couple. Two yellow cards in the first half for D up. Need to be careful. A couple of players on the Pennington side of things. AJ 
Jay Johnson ahead. Semi Rodriguez. Trying to reverse course in the box. He drops it back. Cruz with a ground ball shot. And a save made by the feet of Ponce de Leon. Cleared to the middle third of the fields. Knocked down from behind is Aiden Keefe. Huntington will have a free kick. Play it short and get it back to Ian Albuquerque. Guy Stolen. Neto. Swept aside and out of bounds to the Basaic River. Substitutions for St. Benedict's. Tiago Quintanilla re-enters the match. So does Reese Armstrong. Again, 6-0. St. Benedict's on top. They have five different goal scores. Two from Celio Pompeo. One each from Zemi Rodriguez, Ronald Maffensweni, Yinjun Soon, and Julian Gomez. This is Kao Chavez. Played it into the box and is cleared by Lucas Gessner. Nifty play by A.J. Johnson. Drawing some cheers from the St. Benedict's crowd. They've come out in big numbers, standing room only, to support the Grey Bees. Semi Rodriguez back in the corner. We'll drop it back for Quintanilla. Picks up Armstrong. Back to Quintanilla. And around for Pompeo. Thought about loading up for a shot. Said fancy footwork. In the future UCLA Bruin. Cleared aside from Pennington. Taken by Gaye. Jack Borden. He's got Gaye streaking up the sideline next to him. Beats a pass ahead that got chipped along by Aiden Keith. Knocked out of bounds. That's touched by St. Benedict's. The chance for the Pennington School. They've had a couple of opportunities so far here today. Trying to see if they could find another one. Justin Rushmore, the quick touch for St. Benedict's. As the Rabies lead it 6 0, trying to close out. Their Prep A State Championship is Ronald Dauphin Sweeney whistled for offsides. Just a little bit ahead of that one, trying to flag it down in another fantastic fashion. He's already got one goal today. That would have been a pretty second if he was able to get to that ball, but it was offsides. Cal Chavez. Side ball is picked up by Rushmore. Fed back for Chavez. Fake to the inside, instead takes it to the outside. Throws one in toward net, redirected in front, and another goal for St. Benedict's. Sliding in at the end of the play was Moffin Sweeney. And it's seven to nothing, Gray Bees. Often Sweeney from Cal Chavez. Second of the day for number 70. Unofficially in the 66th minute. So 
Seven to nothing, St. Benedict's. Five different goal scorers, Pompeo and Moffin Sweeney, have two apiece. Around 15 minutes, a little less than that, left to go. Again, the timer up on the top of your screen is the unofficial time. Official time being kept by the head referee. Standing right now, dead central on the field as St. Benedict's advances the ball once again. Neto on the far side. Trapped for Pompeo, give and go. It's Semi Rodriguez and... Celio Pompeo. It's Rushmore, number eight in Maroon today. Rushmore plays it all the way back. It's collected by AJ Johnson inbounds on the far touchline. We'll send it back in for the goalkeeper, Yori Briscoe. AJ! AJ! Tania pressured hard. It's Pennington uh, taking a each out of the book of St. Benedict's here and applying a lot of pressure and not letting the Grey Bees get out of their own end easily. Eventually, a uh, long ball that's headed on by Quintanilla. St. Benedict's out of their own defensive end, but that's Pennington having to work to try and clear it for themselves. Albuquerque had it and lost it for the Red Raiders. Now Chavez. Or side and Semi Rodriguez again. Pinch. Reese Armstrong, who sent go. one wide left to the net. And substitutions for both teams. Peter Yarrow, Luis Chavez, and ready to come in. For St. Benedict's, meanwhile, Pennington sends Ar Andres Argueta into the match. Philip Ross. Also entering. For Pennington Red Raiders. 2016 Prep A State Champions. St. Benedict's 2017 Prep A State Championships. It was Pennington who defeated St. Benedict's back in the 2016 season. Grabies getting set to make a substitution in nets on the next opportunity you know about that one it plays out as Pennington controlling over on the far side it's a 7 nothing lead for St. Benedict's and Junior Aori Briscoe is tested a little bit but not really much Ebenezer is it ahead for Henrique Cruz? That wasn't him. It's back to Ebenezer. Nieto. And for Gaye. Shot and a save made by Briska. One of the better chances for Pennington so far today is <laughs> over on the far side, St. Benedict's wasting a little bit of time as much as they can off the clock as Rushmore. This one sent out of bounds by Ian Albuquerque. Three new players coming in for St. Benedict's. Number two, Alex Oliveira. Number 22, David Camargo. Going into play goal is Jose Pena. Yeah. 
throw in for the Grey Bees as they lead it. By a seven to nothing margin, unofficially, as you see on the top of your screen, about eight minutes left. There's, in reality, probably closer to 10. It's Pennington getting ready. Send a new keeper as well. That'll be on the next opportunities. Raiders played up the field and quickly back the other way. Long ball sent from midfield all the way down to the corner where Pompeo plays it down near the edge of the box. He's working back up top. Feathers a pass and his shot goes wide off the foot of Tiago Quintanilla. St. Benedict's Eduardo Risha comes in for Pennington. New goalie, Noah Levinson. A senior from Livingston, New Jersey, not too far from Newark. We'll take over in nets for the remainder of the contest. Rafael Ponce de Leon, nothing to hang his head out today. He did give up the seven goals, but was under constant fire. Made a couple of spectacular saves. And of course, he's such a big reason why Pennington is playing in this game in the first place. Ball chips out of the park. So Benedicts trying to advance, again leading 7 nothing, but again, not really applying that heavy, heavy pressure like they were earlier. Going to switch things over to just playing lockdown defense. Niang. To the middle of Pavakar Niang. Freed from the ball and it's taken by Oliveira. Oliveira drops it back. The far side, Eduardo Risha. Boris Armstrong. Actually played out of bounds, last touched by St. Benedict's. Throw in for the Pennington School. And eventually thrown right out of bounds off St. Benedict's as George Burdett was trying to clear, ended up hitting it off the side of a gravy player. The throw in deflects out of bounds off Pennington. So we'll continue to just work over on the far touch line, attacking third for St. Benedict's. As Pennington looks to clear. Now they've got a chance. Fast break for the Red Raiders. The pass a little bit slow behind Gaye and one back by the Grey Bees. And Tanette for Pena. Is it head for Luis Chavez? The third player wearing a captain's armband for St. Benedict's today. Sider step from Quintanilla. Pass to flex out of bounds. Substitution for St. Benedict's, Richard Jones. Comes into the match. Both teams will make subs next opportunity. Rotating players in, getting him a chance to play these final few minutes. Midfield battle. Quintanilla trying to spin through a couple defenders and does. Well, Tiago Quintanilla, junior midfielder, showing off some nifty moves. Preston Rushmore. To Camargo. AJ Johnson. Camargo again. Into the corner. Now back into the box. Risha with a shot that just went. And missed the far post. Three new players in for both sides. Herreras comes in once again for Pennington along with Aiden Keith and Gabe DiPiero. 
Check Napoli into the match. AJ Johnson will come off for St. Benedict's. Big hug from head coach Jim Wandling is Jay Johnson, his senior captain, relinquished the armband to David Camargo, another senior. We're going to capture his third state title since the senior class has been here at St. Benedict's. They won in 15. They won in 17, trying to win in 18. They're up 7-0 in the waning minutes of today's contest. Stolen by Oliveira. Head for Quintanilla. And into the corner, it's Richard Jones. Jones to the middle. No one was home on the back end for St. Benedict's, but Jack Napoli was certainly lurking as that one found its way across the goal mouth. Substitution for Pennington. Liam Goldstein comes into the game. Who replaced Jack Borton. Benedict's trying to hang on to possession. So it comes back to the near side, Preston Rushmore. by Arisha for Oliveira ahead into the corner Napoli it's tangled up he goes down no whistle play it back to the middle shot and a save made in front by Levinson Oliveira had the shot and a great save made by Noah Levinson it'll be a corner kick coming up for St. Benedict's. Fourth of the match, but it's all they've needed. They're up seven to nothing. They're excited and spraying water all over the place on the sideline. The corner kick. Headed up and eventually cleared out by Philip Ross from Pennington. A whistle of foul against the Red Raiders. Quick reset from the Grey Bees. Oliveira. Working inside. Dropped it for Napoli. Wasn't able to get there. Held on. Quintanilla comes up and rises a shot over the top of the crossbar. Subs for Pennington. Kevin Durfee comes into the contest as does Trey Dusick. And that'll do it. An ice water shower for Jim Wanling. As the St. Benedict's Grey Bees are once again Prep A state champions. This time a final of seven to nothing. And the celebration is on here at Riverfront Park in Newark. The St. Benedict's Grey Bees defeat the Pennington Red Raiders seven to nothing. Goals first from Zemi Rodriguez, assisted by Ronald Moffinsweeney in the 19th minute. 
And then the floodgates open for St. Benedict's in the first half. Celio Pompeo, a penalty kick goal in the 24th. Moffin Zwaney added a goal in the 31st minute. And then Hyun Jun Soon in the 38th, striking one from 40 yards out at a sharp angle to make it 4 0 St. Benedict's at halftime. In the second half, Julian Gomez assisted by Celio Pompeo. Celio Pompeo unassisted. Five minutes later, in the 55th minute, made it 6 0. And Raul Muffinsweeney added the cherry on top of the Sunday for St. Benedict's. Assisted by Cal Chavez in the 66th minute. A 7 0 victory for the St. Benedict's Rabies. And 28 out of the last 29 Prep A state champions have now been won by St. Benedict's. So see the team shaking hands. Some kind of message sent by Israel Neto right into the microphone here in front of the handshake line and Again, for Pennington, nothing to put your head down about. Played a heck of a match throughout the game, but St. Benedict's, they showed up and they came to play here today. So 7-0 the final. That'll do it for our coverage today on the Play-By-Play -play Sports Network. For the entire crew here at Riverfront Park in Newark, my name is Joe Vasile saying so long and enjoy the remainder of your Wednesday or Thursday evening. Again, 7 0 the score is St. Benedict's New Jersey Prep A champions once again in 2018.